back to my channel. My name is Emma and today I'm going to be finally filming the booktube newbie tag. I'm still relatively new to this. I've only been going at it for about a month or so, a month and maybe, or like maybe five weeks or so. Um, but I still haven't filmed this video. I can't believe it. Uh, so here I am and I'm going to be answering the 10 questions to, about my booktube channel and what I hope to accomplish with it and I hope you guys enjoy. So question number one, why did you start this channel? Um, there are multiple reasons why I started this channel. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel, but I never really knew what I'd want to talk about. Um, when I was younger, I thought I maybe would have like a makeup channel because in high school I was obsessed with doing my makeup. Um, it's all I watched on YouTube were makeup videos and I just really enjoyed it. Um, but I didn't think I was really good enough to do it, nor was I truly passionate enough about it. As my YouTube taste changed, I discovered the booktube community and I have never felt so in awe and inspired by a group of people as I have when I found the booktube ch uh, community. I wanted to be part of it right away, but I again didn't think I was going to be good enough. I had a book blog and I enjoyed it, but I didn't post on it regularly and um, I wasn't getting much interaction from it. But seeing how much people chat with each other and how much interaction there is and how inclusive this community looked like, I really, really, really wanted to be part of it, so I did. I also started this channel just to kind of help work on my shyness, I guess. Um, I'm horrible at presenting things. I always avoid it if I can at any cost. Um, and I hate talking in front of other people, so I'm hoping that over time I'll start to come out of my shell a little bit more and get a little bit more comfortable with speaking maybe even in public. Um, I hope to become a professor one day, so I'm gonna need to work on these skills and I think this will be a great place to start. I also just really want to talk about books and I really want to talk about the things that I love the most and I always have loved the most and that is reading and books and Oh, I just, I'm so excited. Question number two, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? Now for this question, I'm not quite sure. Um, I think it'll just come down to my personal opinions being different than others. Um, I'm not scared to tell somebody that I didn't like a book, um, which I don't think anybody on here is, but um, it tends to be kind of hit or miss with me on whether or not I like a very popular book, but I also quite like adult books and I quite love uh, like thrillers and I'm excited to talk about an entire range of genres um, leaning probably very heavily towards fantasy but uh, I'm excited to try and bring myself out of my shell as well and talk about books in all kinds of different forms um, which again I don't think is specifically unique but I do think it's fun which is part of this question and it is something that I'm excited to do uh, and I really hope you guys are excited to talk about them with me Three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? And this is already starting to happen and I'm very excited about it. And that is making friends. I don't know how to say this. So many of my friends love to read. I haven't been able to talk to them about books nearly as much. In this, in this situation, I think I'm gonna be able to talk about books much more openly and much more fanatically than uh, I can with my friends in real life just because I'm gonna be surrounded by people reading the same things as me and always being able to talk to people. I already have made so many good friends um, that I talk to every single day about books and I love it so much. I really, I can't wait to keep um, making friends and chatting. I've learned so much through um, Twitter especially is where I've been making so many good friends, but also just interacting on YouTube in the comment section. and. Um, talking to other YouTubers and I just I'm loving it so much and I can't wait for it to continue. Number four, why do you love reading? Um, this question is kind of hard and it's hard for me not to say the same answer that most people give which is I love it because it brings me into a new world and it lets me escape. It's very true I really do love getting to completely forget about everything going on in around in and around me whether it's larger things taking up my life like school um or um littler things or even just what's going on in my own house when i'm not reading i love being able to travel and meet so many new people within the pages of a book i think it really does transport you and i think good books and 
especially the fantasy books that I read where it's in like a completely new world. It's not even just a different part of the world that you live in. I think it makes the experience of reading so much more fulfilling and I think it really does bring to life so many other different possibilities and so many other different walks of life and different types of people and it helps you to learn empathy and to learn compassion for others and it just lets you see life from a different point of view and I absolutely love that experience so much um I don't know I just I love it I always have it's always been encouraged in my household and I would just I don't know where I'd be without it question number five what book series got you into reading I've talked about this on my channel before, um, it wasn't Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> Harry Potter did have a very good big influence on my life when I was a like preteen, but the book series that really got me into reading was Inkart by Cornelia Funk. Inkart tells the story of uh, Maggie, who is a girl uh, who lives with her dad, the bookseller and book, uh, I don't know, searcher? She spends her life traveling around with her dad, Mo, who is searching for a specific book. He's searching for Inkheart. Um, and the reason being is when Maggie was a baby, uh, Mo was reading to his wife and discovered, unfortunately, that he has the power to bring things outside of a book. He is able to bring a book to life. And in doing so, he accidentally sent Maggie's mother into the book Inkheart that he was reading aloud from. He brought out a couple other characters, one of which being the main villain, and he has forever since been trying to find a copy of Inkheart in which that villain had stolen from him on that fateful night. He's trying to find the book so that he can attempt to bring his wife back, and Maggie along the way learns that she shares the same power as her father. And they get tossed into a whirlwind type of situation with so many different adventures, so many different references, so many different book loving or so many different bookish things happen and I just I love it so much. I was so jealous of this book when I was little. I thought it was the best thing in the world to be able to bring things out of a book. I think if you were able to control it that would be a very different story. <laughs> um, but I just love this story. It was whimsical, it was magical, it had like a fairy tale vibe to it and it was just a great read and I love the entire trilogy. Number six, what questions would you ask your favorite e booktubers? And I think the first question that I would ask is, what's your favorite book? Because um, so many people have a hard time answering that question and I want to see if anybody has a good answer. Um, I certainly don't. I just go on and on thinking, oh, but I like that book too. Oh, but I like that book too. Oh, but I like that book too. And I try and like stick it, stick it into like, what's my favorite fantasy book? Oh, it's this one. Or like, what's my favorite thriller? Oh, it's this one. Like, I can't settle on a book. But then I'd also ask booktubers if they have any advice regarding uh, trying not to let numbers get the best of you. Um, I've been struggling lately with just seeing my channel kind of stagnate in regards to interaction and I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If I am doing anything wrong, I might not be, but it's just kind of disheartening to see. I'm still having so much fun, but I just want to know if they have any advice regarding that. Number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? And I think that relates back to the last question, and that is not letting numbers and statistics and the, like, seedy underbelly of YouTube get the best of you. I've listened to Ariel Vissette talk about this on her Instagram, and... I've seen a different YouTuber, her name's Coley over at bon Bonjour Coley, she's like a travel lifestyle type blogger that I really love, that she's spoken about this before as well, is just trying to talk about like numbers, like either followers or subscribers. I know it's not important and I know it doesn't matter because I'm having so much fun, but it is disheartening to see especially other um, people who've been on it for around the same amount of time as you. It's not a matter of doing better than others. That's not what I'm trying to say. That's not what I'm trying to get that out of my head. Like I know that's not what I'm supposed to be thinking about. But it is hard to see and I think it's just a mental thing. It's just something that happens when you look at numbers you just immediately want to see more and I need I think I've already started to struggle with it but I think that's going to be the biggest uh, concern going forward with booktube but hopefully with the help of the friends that I've been making and with the support that I have uh, in my regular life, I'll be able to get better at managing it.
Question number eight, when did you start reading? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, always. I've always been a reader. My parents have always been huge readers and I've always been encouraged to read. I couldn't tell you when I first started reading, but yeah, just always, I've always been a reader. As soon as I was able to pick up a book, I was always reading and it's just never, never going to stop and I love it so much. How many times do you think I've said I love reading? Question number nine, where do you read? This question is similar to the last one in the sense that I read everywhere. Um, there is no specific spot that I read. I bring my book with me everywhere. I read it every chance that I get. Um, my favorite places to read, as I mentioned in my last video, I love reading in the bath. That is so relaxing and so chill and so much fun. I love reading my bed. I love reading in my bed. Um, that's always great. So comfy. But I do, I do love reading everywhere. I, and I do read everywhere. I read at work. I read on the go. I, like, I listen to audiobooks. I read in class, which I really shouldn't be doing. Um, that's what got me my, like, English award in eighth grade was because every second that we weren't having a, like, lecture, I guess, or a lesson, I was reading my book. But yeah, anywhere and everywhere is where I read. And finally, question number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I read majority YA. I really enjoy fantasy, specifically high fantasy, in which there's magic and mystery and politics and kingdoms and rulers and I just, I love it so much. I immerse myself in the world and it just makes me so happy, especially if it's got magic. Magic makes me so happy. Anything with magic. I also read quite a bit of crime novels and like thriller novels. Um, I'm been on a kick recently with uh, Kathy Reich's books because my cousin and I were watching Bones and we found out it was a book series and so I've been like loving Kathy Reich's books about Temperance Brennan. It's been awesome. I also love um, the Cuckoo's Calling series, so the Cormoran Strike detective novels. Those are great. Um, they're written by Robert Galbraith aka J.K. Rowling. Um, they're, I, they're wonderful. The newest one, Lethal White, just came out and I'm excited to read that. I love old school mysteries like Sherlock Holmes and like Agatha Christie books. Those are always fun. And then I love like sci-fi, uh, anything not set in the real world, basically. Or if it is set in the real world, it's real creepy and it's really entertaining. Um, or it's set back in time. I love historical fiction. My favorite historical fiction as of late has been about like English royalty. I love the Philippa Gregory books about the different wives of Henry VIII is what I've been reading lately. The last book that I read by her was The White Queen, which was about Edward V's wife, um, Elizabeth Woodley, I think. Pretty sure. Um, that one was fun because that had witches in it and that had magic and it was just a wonderful surprise. But yeah, that's mostly what I read. Um, pretty much the only thing I don't really read is contemporary. I just don't really care for it. I read it a bit when I was a teenager, but it's just never really been my favorite. I'll do it if it sounds really great, but otherwise it's just not my cup of tea. Like I don't really read like Nicholas Sparks either or like John Green books. I really don't care for John Green. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else pretty much is on the table. I'll read anything else. <laughs> I love classics as well. Classics, fairy tales, fairy tale retellings. Those are my jam. This is too hard. Like, how am I supposed to narrow it down? This is too broad of a question. Uh, everything. Except for a couple things. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my booktube newbie tag. I really hope you guys enjoy, and I really hope you guys like, uh, watching my content. Uh, please like this video if you did enjoy, and share it with your friends. Um, and please comment down below letting me know something that you're excited to see, or something you would like to see on my channel. That would be really helpful. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I can't wait to continue making great bookish videos with you guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.